pasta with some salmon on top, yummy delicious, a side salad, and an orange vanilla flavored water. Ooh, we man. Who want a yummy bite? Mmm, mmm, mmm. What's up, yummy biters? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all already see it. I'm drinking orange vanilla flavored water. Y'all, I'm hot. Delicious. <laughs> Who is ready for this mother flipping mukbang? Let me know in the comments. All right. Ooh, look at how creamy it is. Oh, goat cheese pasta. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, my God. Incredibly delicious. Mm. 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 Y'all already know Chipotle to bath so. Y'all let me know in the comments, have y'all purchased the Chipotle Tabasco? And do you like it? Mm -mm -mm. This salmon is so flaky and juicy. Mm. Oh my God. I'm going to tell y'all the pasta that I used. It's a different one this time. Mm. Oh my goodness. I've been craving this. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I love goat cheese. It is so good. I don't understand people who don't like it. I really don't. <laughs> mm. Mm. Who got all that Christmas shopping done? Let me know. I know a lot of y'all don't celebrate Christmas. <clears throat> and we stopped celebrating Christmas too, so. <laughs> Let me know who stopped celebrating Christmas but still get together with their family for the holidays. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ooh, excuse me. Arugula salad with tomatoes and cucumbers. Mmm. 
Mmm. With a low carb balsamic dressing. Oh my god, it's delicious. And I'm going to see who watched the whole video last video. Remember I told y'all to do something at the end of the video to let me know that y'all watched the whole thing. <laughs> I can't wait to see who all did it. <laughs> I ain't going to judge you though. <laughs> mm -mm. My goodness. Something sprayed on my face. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I may need to take this shawl off, honey, because what? It is so hot. <laughs> I can't even stand it no more. Woo! Oh, my goodness. Girl. Who that feels so much better? Yeah, it ain't winter out here in Texas at all. Mm. Y'all let me know where is it snowing? Like, is it snowing wherever y'all at? Or like blistering cold? Let me know. Mmm. I can't believe how good this pasta is. This pasta tastes like regular pasta. Not no low carb, high protein pasta at all. I can't believe this. They literally got it right. Mmm. Mmm. Girl, look at me. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally sweating. Oh. Y'all already know what this probably is. Mm. My hair is there going wet and it's touching my face. <laughs> it's that bad. Woo. Y'all know Monica and, um, let me see. Who else is joining her? Monica, K. Michelle, and a male too. I forget. Is it Joe? This coming to Houston? Excuse me. Who going to the concert? Let me know. I've never seen Monica in concert. And never really wanted to see K. Michelle either. I'm sorry. Um... But she can sing. I know she can sing, but I don't know. I just don't know any of her songs, honestly. And K. Michelle don't even look like K. Michelle no more. Have y'all seen her? I mean, she looks good, but she just does not look like K. Michelle. And I think she had another surgery on her behind. Did she? Let me know in the comments because I know that she had gotten everything taken out and all of that. But it looks like she went and got something else in this clip that I saw her in on um on YouTube. I mean on um, TikTok. I was like, now I know she didn't go and get surgery again after everything that happened. Girl, it ain't no way somebody could shock me into, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody, I could almost lose my freaking life and then go back and do another procedure 
but a different one, I guess, because I'm pretty sure it wasn't the butt injections like she had before. Um, it looked like it's, it was probably like a BBL or maybe some implants or something. I don't know. Cause it looked like her, her work looks like, um, what is that young lady's name? Summer Walker. And y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm like, no girl. And it seemed like everybody be going to the same plastic surgeon, uh, that, um, goals, plastic surgery. Everybody goes there. Roly went there. Who else? Mm. This lady that, um, I watch on TikTok, the one who got divorced to, um, her wife. I've got this lady's name. Oh my God. She's a dark skinned lady. Like she does hostings and stuff like that. Anyway, she announced that she was having surgery because she, I believe, had like a gastric bypass. And I think she's trying to, and she said she was doing a mommy makeover. I'm like, oh my God, girl. And she's a, I think she's older. Mm -mm. Are you kidding me? Hold on, y'all. Well, anyway, um, yeah, and I think that she's, like, older. She looks like she's in her 40s. I don't know. She may not be, but, honey, I don't know. I just wouldn't. They always say that if you're, like, my age or, like, in your 40s, that it's a risk if you get any type of, like, invasive surgery like that. I just... Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I just feel like with everything that we know right now, I just don't know how smart that is to do. But everybody grown. Everybody do their own thing. Is there anybody in my audience that's um gonna get surgery soon or already had it? And you're fine and everything went well. Let me know in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't have wanted to, like, take my shawl off because of my arms. But guess what? I'm not, you know, I'm not concerned about them anymore. I'm fine with the way that they are. And I, I'm, I don't mind showing them because I feel like they're smaller now. You know what I'm saying? They're not as big as what they were. Even though they're not where I want them to be, but it's all good. Mm. Sometimes you just gotta be freaking satisfied, you know? Mm. And deal with what you got. Hey, man. <laughs> hey to the man. Okay, what do we have going on, girl? Y'all, oh, y'all ain't never, y'all ain't never gonna believe this. Y'all not, I promise you, you won't. Girl, I am sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating. Mm. Do y'all remember that story about that 11 year old boy? The one who called the police after the domestic yeah. dispute and despite complying with the orders that the police officer had given was still shot in the chest? Well, according yeah, to a Mississippi grand jury, Mississippi. no charges will be filed against. No charges filed after police shot an 11 year old who called for help because something was going on in his house. Um, I believe his mom told him to call um, the police. The police came. The police was giving him instructions on what to do, right? Do y'all remember that story? The police was giving him instructions on what to do. He did everything that the police told him to do. And he was on the phone still. And I believe it was he had stepped out into the hallway. And y'all, 
the police shot him in his chest. He didn't die, thank God. But the police are not gonna face no charges for that, none. Like, I'm just like, you know, and then y'all remember what Trump said if he get in office? Y'all remember, they gonna keep getting away with that type of stuff. They gonna keep getting away with it. Insane. And y'all, did y'all hear that some other states are gonna follow suit? Um, what states are those? Because... I saved it, honey. I saved it. Oh, excuse me. It's the most states that are following suit. Is this it? The number of suspected cases of lead poisoning. From oh, hold on. Is this it? I also want to know that some people may wonder, well, if he's not on the ballot, can people just write him in? Well, in this opinion, they specifically say that the Secretary of State is also barred from counting any write-in votes cast for Trump. Fourteenth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution says, and I'm quoting now, no person shall hold any office who, having previously taken an oath to support the Constitution of the United States, shall have engaged, shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. Uh, pretty significant uh, 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Did Minnesota, I know about that amendment? Uh, in New Hampshire, in Michigan, and right now in Colorado, it's going forward to remove him. Alyssa, how do you expect Trump and his team to react to this stunning news? A, a truly a stunning news, and I expect this is a five-alarm fire, even to the fact of Dave Chalian's point that this doesn't actually really change the map for Donald Trump. He's not necessarily playing for the ton electoral votes in Colorado. But it's the precedent it sets, and it's also just the mindset that it signals to voters, which is, for the first time in history, he is unfit to appear on a ballot for the presidency. Um, and, of course, there would be implications if the Supreme Court upheld this. Um, I think that you're going to hear a massive outcry from him and his team. Mm -hmm. They're needlessly to say, needless to say, are going to be challenging this. And, and I do offer a word of caution. I also want to note that some people may wonder, well, if he's not on the ballot, can people just write him in? Well, in this opinion, they specifically say that the Secretary of State is old. They said four more states, but they didn't even list it. Let me say something. Does anybody feel differently? Um, should he be worried about these states um, wanting to remove him or ban him? Should he be worried? I think he should be. Because I think other states are going to follow suit. It's not just going to be Colorado. Um, may, did they just put this here or something? Let me see if I can find these states. I also want to note that some people may wonder, well, if he's not on the ballot, can people just write him? In New Hampshire, Chris Christie. Not a people lying. Donald Trump. People lying. Okay, well, it's just Colorado right now. Um, as far as I know, okay, um, also, another thing, y'all, um, what is this on my finger? Um, let me know in the comments who goes to the nail shops to get their nails done. Let me know, like, I, I hope it's not many. Because, y'all, we have press-ons, okay? Like, look at these. These are, these are Christmas nails. Like, we got press-ons, y'all. We don't have to go in there and deal with all of that bull corn that they be, you know what I'm saying? We don't have to go in there and spend $200 on a set like this because that's how much this would probably be because it's a design on every nail. They Y'all know they charge for every single nail. Um... Anyway, so there is a place, um, and I believe this is on the nose. Hold on. So a chop shop in my area was shut down yesterday because of multiple reports asking people from September 2021 to literally yesterday, December 14th, from 2021. 2023, to get tested for hepatitis A. B, C, and HIV because they weren't disinfecting their tools properly. 
So I posted this on my story. This is in Edmonton. Edmonton. Where is that? Edmonton. Is that Colorado? Edmonton. Edmonton, Colorado. I don't know, y'all. But Edmonton. Um. Wow. So people have to get checked now if they went to this certain salon because they weren't even cleaning their, oh my God, they weren't cleaning their equipment. And who out there goes into a nail shop and be like, did y'all clean this? And if they say, yeah, how do you believe that they actually did clean it? You know what I'm saying? I promise you, y'all, whenever I see somebody leaving like earlier than the business closes, I don't ever see them cleaning any of those tools, ever. I don't never see it, y'all. I promise you, I don't never see it. The nail files, all of that stuff, all of that filing stuff, they don't, they don't be um, like changing the bits and stuff. They don't change that every for every customer. They do not. Let me know if your salon does, because I, when I tell y'all, been getting my, I, well, I was getting my nails done for years. And I never saw it. I never saw anybody changing out those bits for the drills. Never saw anybody doing any type of disinfectant. None of that. Now, they be changing out the bags for, you know, when different people, like, have their pedicures and stuff like that. That is about the only thing that I have seen them, like, change out. You know? And... Just, I feel like people are like, they're not asking because they want to prevent any type of um, confrontation because y'all, they be getting mad over anything. I'm sorry. They do. They do. They get mad over anything, anything that you have a question about, or if you don't like something, some, sometimes some people will be like, okay, I fix for you or whatever, but they get upset. They get an attitude if you don't like what they did. Or if you're asking them about, you know, disinfecting things and, you know, like, they get mad. I remember last time I went to, um, it wasn't last time. It was a, a time before. I had, And I think I told y'all about this. I had went to this um, nail shop. I had got my toes done. And it was this lady. She didn't know what she was doing, y'all. Toenail polish everywhere. She wasn't even trying to clean it up. On the edges, nothing, y'all. It looked a complete mess. It was lumpy. Like, the, I was like, girl, this is a no. And I said, I was like, I'm not going to sit here and let her do this and be paid for it. I'm not going to do it. I have to say, Chris, you have to say something. You know what I'm saying? Because me, I usually, sometimes, y'all, I ain't even going to lie. Um, I used to let people run over me. I do. Um... Or I did. I'm getting better at not doing that. Uh, but I used to let people run over me just to avoid confrontation because I can't stand it. Because I know where confrontation can go. I know how fast I could get mad. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what might happen after that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be fighting nobody or I don't want nobody to pull nothing on me. Or, you know, I just don't want no situations like that. Um, but I had told myself, I had to talk to myself, actually, while I was sitting there. Christy, you better say something. You know that she is doing your toes wrong. You know that, like, it, this lady was older, too. It was almost like she had just got out of school or something. Like, girl, who taught you how to paint? I mean, she literally didn't do nothing right. She didn't lay the, um, the powder right. It was lumpy. The polish was lump. Well, I guess because she didn't lay the powder right. That's why the polish was lumpy. Oh, girl. Anyway, I ended up saying something. It, it turned into a big old freaking deal. Uh, the manager had came over and was like, um, uh, you're, sh you're making her depressed. What? I said, I'm paying my money. I said, I'm making her depressed. She's not doing my <laughs> toes right. Do you see this? Uh, and he knew that it wasn't right. He knew it. But he wanted to get mad at me. You know, I kind of like how, excuse me, Asians be uh, sticking with their people. Like, no matter what, it don't matter. They not going to chastise their people in front of you. They not going to do it. Tell me how y'all ever seen anything like that. Because I have never 
They, it's always them together. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what that person did. Uh, the nail tech could have cussed the customer out anything. They could have been in the wrong. But none of the people that they work with is going to go against them. None of them. And I kind of like that. But, yeah, he, he's telling me that I'm making her depressed. And that's exactly, that's the word he used, depressed. He probably should have used another word because depressed, like, really. Then, y'all, I didn't tell you that she had hit me. She hit me with the, um, the, the brush that you, you know, like the toe brush thing. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, she freaking, she hit me with it and then she like brushed my skin. And I didn't, I, I wasn't like, <clears throat> I didn't know that that is what she actually had done when she did it. I had to think about it afterwards. Like this half hit me with that brush and brushed my skin on purpose. Because after she did it, she looked at me with a, like an evil eye. Like how dare you be complaining about your feet. You know, girl. It was that place that I used to go to um, that um, gave you free alcohol. <sighs> oh, my God. Yeah, I never went back. Never. You will never be able to do me like that again. And even before she started doing my feet, I knew she wasn't the one, y'all. I was like, I even asked y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. Do y'all have anybody else to do my feet? <laughs> Y'all, how I kind of like judge, um, if I don't know the person, I'll look at their feet and I'll look at their fingernails and that'll kind of tell me, you know what I'm saying? If they know what they're doing. I don't know if they did their nails and, and toes or, or not, but that's just how I gauge, you know, who I want. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> that's just kind of how I gauge who I want to work on my feet and my nails if I don't know who they are. Um, so, oh my God, y'all. Anyway, so yeah, they weren't sanitizing their stuff, y'all. And people got to go get checked for hepatitis and HIV. Like what? That is so freaking serious. That is so serious, y'all. Mm -mm. Yeah, y'all won't see me step in there no more. Well, let me stop lying. I gotta get my feet done. But you know what? Y'all know they have press-on toenails now. And they are so freaking cute. They have on TikTok shop. They have the nails to match the toes, y'all. In a set. I'm like, hmm. And I've been wondering, like, will that work? Like, would that be cute? Has anybody ever did the press on toenails? Let me know in the comments. Like, I've seen, uh, like, I haven't seen it done, but I've seen somebody that had someone. I was like, dang, that's cute. Like, it was really, really cute. But I don't know. I might have to try that, y'all, because I don't know about going into, like, I don't want to risk my health doing something that, you know, for vain reasons, you know, like no. And then I guess I could just paint my own toes, right? I haven't did that in so long, y'all. Paint my own feet, like I literally threw away all my toenail polish because I had had it for so long. It had got old. Um, so. I don't know. Hmm. I swear, every time I would paint my toes, like it just wouldn't look as crisp and clean as when I went and got them done. Y'all know what I mean. Like, you know, they get around the toe and get all the dead skin and do all of that type of stuff. I don't know how to do that. I mean, I guess I could try, but. Hmm. This is so good. I'm a little full. Mmm. Oh, y'all. Y'all know, um, 
they issuing out that lab grown um, chicken. This lady had went to a Walmart, wherever she's from, and um, I guess like during her research, um, she found out like if you put a magnet on some of the like on the chicken breast, and if it sticks. And you put a magnet on there and you turn it over and the magnet sticks, it that means it was lab grown, y'all. She went to a Walmart, did that, and it stuck. Um, I don't think it is the um the chicken with the bones in it. It's just like the breast. So let me know if they have started it in the city wherever you are. Um I don't I don't know in what what all cities um they're doing it in, but they definitely are. Let me see. Let me see where. So my friends is. are having a human hold discussion up. about when your kids. Okay, just that's not it. We talked about that last. Hold up. Mm -hmm. Not that either. Where is it? Y'all, Taraji is talking. First of all, I just want to... Taraji is talking, honey. She's saying she is not getting paid enough. And it's some type of problem with her and Oprah Winfrey, y'all. I don't know what it is, but Taraji is talking, honey. And she is not happy at all. That ain't it. Mm. Oh. It's another thing. Oh, excuse me. Um, they have been um what do you call it? Um recalling a lot of foods. Um, I know Quaker um has like recalled like cereals and and, and I forgot what else, y'all. But keep your ear to the street, honey, with these foods. Um they said um, applesauce, um, that they had to re uh, recall some applesauce. Hold on. Lead poisoning. Applesauce has nearly doubled in the past week to at least 205 cases. Three brands of cinnamon applesauce fruit pouches have been recalled, including Wanabana, Schnucks, and Weiss. Tonight, the FDA warns that recalled products are still on shelves at Family Dollar and Dollar Tree combination what? stores, saying customers should not buy them. The FDA says the cinnamon that was added to the applesauce was contaminated with what? extremely high concentrations of lead. Girl, I literally freaking can't. And they know that those pouches, adults are not eating. Do y'all eat uh, pouch applesauce? No, your kids do. That is so... Oh, my God. They said it was a high, a high concentration of lead poisoning in the cinnamon. And they still have them on the shelves, y'all. Did y'all hear that? Wait a minute. Let me get y'all the, the um, brands again so y'all will watch out. Because I know a lot of people go and shop at the dollar store. The number of suspected cases of lead poisoning from contaminated applesauce has nearly doubled in the past week to at least 205 cases. Three brands of cinnamon applesauce fruit pouches have been recalled, including Listen. Wanabana, Schnucks, and Weiss. Tonight, the FDA warns that recalled products are still on shelves at Family Dollar and Dollar Tree combination stores, saying customers should not buy them. The FDA's... Dang. Family Dollar and Dollar Tree. Wanabana and Schnucks and, and Weiss? I'm glad we don't buy uh, Jaden applesauce no more because he used to eat applesauce all the time, but he stopped liking it for some reason. Um, and I had seen one of these pouches in my house too, but it had ended up getting thrown away. This is a while ago um, because he wasn't eating it. He, he didn't want it. So thank God. Like, oh my God, doesn't like all that lead poisoning and stuff, doesn't that contribute to um, autism and all of that type of um, stuff and like ADHD and stuff like that? I could have swore it was related. Um, But yeah, so watch out y'all. 
Yeah, the uh, Quaker, the oats and like some of the Quaker oats cereals that have been recalled. So watch out for all of that. Um, let me see. What else is going on, y'all? What is this? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Y'all probably won't even be able to see it, though. It was a, um, I don't even know where, the, where are these people from? Because it's all in Spanish. I think maybe Brazil. Anyway, they saw a UFO, y'all. It was round and it had, it had these things like sticking out of it. They got a really, really close look, y'all. It wasn't no bullcorn. This person knew what they was doing with the phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how some people be trying to record and they it be blurry. It looked like it was from the 1970s or something. They zoomed in on this aircraft, y'all. And it looked like it had like a, a tunnel or something on it. And it was like, it was watching them too. It was like watching back. Y'all, I could not believe it. Oh, excuse me. I wonder if I could put this up on my, um in this video so y'all can see it. I hope nobody, let me try to see if I can save it. Yeah, I can say, okay, I saved it. So I'm gonna put it in here so y'all can see what I'm talking about. I know y'all gonna appreciate that, huh? <laughs> Cause if I just do this, Y'all are not really going to be able to see what I want y'all to see. Woo! Girl, I block you, girl. <laughs> Somebody don't like the way I chew on, on Instagram. Girl, get on out of here then. Get on out of here. Um, what else, y'all? Oh, uh, somebody is, I'm going to pass this information off to y'all for who's, whoever is sick, whoever has that cough that's going on. They're saying also that people have coughs and pink eye all at the same time. Like these are the symptoms to whatever is, is going on out there. This mysterious uh, cough that everybody has in New York. It's other places too, but a lot of people from New York are saying and making videos and saying that they're, um, they've been coughing for months and stuff. And it's just like a dry cough. It's not like they have like a full blown cold. It's like this dry cough, like all the time. Anyway, this man is telling you. We're dealing with one hell of a lung virus here in the United States mm -hmm. and over in the UK. They're literally calling oh, the it UK. the 30 day cough over. And it is no joke. Dang. It presents in the sinuses and quickly moves to the lungs, causing all kinds of problems. I've had clients with coughs so intense, they've ripped the cartilage in between their ribcage. Mucus buildup so substantial in the lungs, they've had to go in the ER and have it pumped out. Now, I'm not trying to freak you out. I'm just trying to give you an idea of how intense this virus is. So you're on top of it. If you start feeling sick, you get the chills, hit yourself with some zinc. If you've been unfortunate enough to already catch the virus, and you're dealing with the side effects, I got you. So we're dealing with a mucus buildup in the body that we're not able to break down and get out. We're looking at an enzyme called bromelain, naturally found in pineapples. So you can get a supplement. Now's a great brand. Four to 600 milligrams every two hours. All right. Back to the source. Pineapples. All right. I got a smoothie that's going to help with the cough, the throat, the stomach, and the inflammation. One pineapple peel, core included. One lemon peel with as much white left on it as possible. One quarter teaspoon of black pepper, which is going to activate the half a teaspoon of turmeric, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, two inches of ginger, and a pinch of salt. Blend it all up. Serving size is about a half a cup. Chew it up, swish it up, whatever you need to do to make it warm before you swallow it. Throw it in the fridge and consume within 24 hours. All right, folks? This yeah, I heard help that. mitigate a lot of the side effects and help pull your immune system through this. All right? Like, follow, repost. Have a yeah, I heard it right. I hope. That's some good information. Mm. Oh my goodness. Anyway. Mm. Let me see. These comments. I didn't get a chance to check the comments today. 
But I'm going to check them right now. Y'all, I can barely. What is that? What is going on? Waiting. I erased that. What? Y'all, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I erased that. Give me one second, y'all. Delete. Okay. Are we good? Girl, I don't know what is going on here. Try killing bugs the worry-free way. Not the other way. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Um... Gloria Cook 7795, she says, the mind is a terrible thing to waste. Please read the Constitution. Do you know your rights? Well, obviously, <laughs> I don't. And I, yeah, I don't know too many people that have read the entire Constitution. Let me know in the comments if you've read all of the Constitution, because most people that I have known in my lifetime have not read the entire Constitution. They just have not. Um, but thank you, girl, for your opinion. Um, I do agree with you. I do. And maybe I do need to read it. Um, Bimmy, no, Bimim531 says, you're beautiful either way, but you look even more fabulous and beautiful now. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, girl. Uh-oh. Y'all, these nails are not allowing me to do nothing. Um, oh, okay, my people done came through with that heart. I see y'all. Shout out to, um, Neely Eats 6634. Shout out to Von Shetta Robinson 2095. Shout out to Kimberly Morrison 9494. Y'all are the real MVPs, baby. Patricia Holland 5182. Shout out to you. Um, Guinea 3378 says a person is dehydrated because of the fever and underlying cause. Uh, not fever because you're dehydrated. If they have a fever of 104, don't give them Tylenol. Exactly. That's exactly what this doctor said. But not taking them to the doctor can lead to possible permanent damage from side effects of being untreated. You never know. Uh, should always at least call the pediatrician and never assume everything is all right. Um, there's a new strain of, you already know the C word, um, have been causing a long-term dry cough. Oh, so that is a, a new strain of it? I didn't know that. Nobody's been saying that, that, was, that there was a new strain of it and that's what it was. What? Okay, and I do, I agree with you on that fever, but this doctor, he literally said that if your child has a fever of like 101, 102, do not take them to the doctor for that. That's what he said. And maybe that was just his opinion on that um, from, you know, what he's, you know, experienced. Um, but yeah, it, he said, and if it's like at the 101, 102s, and he even said 103s, um, don't give them Tylenol, just give them liquids. But he says when it starts hitting like 105, 106, like I thought if it hit 105, like that's like the serious danger zone. Like they could actually pass away. You know, um, that's just what I've known, you know, over the years. But yeah, anyway, thank you. Thank you so much for your uh, comment. <laughs> shout out to Deborah Cooper 4184. Shout out to you. Shout out to Angie Page 5168. 
Um, shout out to Julie Salim3665. Shout out to Paige3332. Y'all are freaking amazing. Let me see if I can heart y'all up. Look, let me see. Because it is so hard, y'all. I don't see how people wear these nails. I just, I can't. Uh, Sunshine underscore Aura. Shout out to you. Um, it's Nisa468 says, yes, I feel if you have an adult kid, they should pay something or a portion of the bills. They using the water, lights, etc. <laughs> Nothing is free. Um, especially if they are working and making money. Really, girl? Mmm. Well, that's a different perspective. It's a lot of people that, that feel that way. I don't know. I would just feel... I don't know, y'all. I would feel horrible if I was making my kids pay the bills. Like, I just... I don't know, that would just make me feel, especially if I wasn't struggling and I was able to pay the bills. Um, that would just make me feel so, I don't know. I, I don't know. I have a soft heart when it comes to stuff like that. Like, I wouldn't want to take it. I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to take it, but, you know. Now, if I was in need and I'm struggling trying to pay bills, you know what I'm saying? That's a different story. But if I'm not struggling, you know what I mean? Um, Kathy Yarbrough 9443 says, I watch you on my TV and use my phone to comment. Oh, I y'all, I love it. Because people used to send me like videos of them watching me on their TV. And I used to be like, oh my God. <laughs> I would just be so surprised to see, see myself on somebody's TV, y'all. I'm like, wow, how neat. Like, how neat. <clears throat> um, Kathy Yarbrough, uh, no, no, I'm sorry, I just read your comment. Thank you, girl. Um, Jaquetta Harrison 454 says Queen's Court was a dating show that had Evelyn, Tamar, and Nivea on it. Evelyn may have seemed distant from her fiance because she's torn about how to break up with him. And really feels bad about it. What? She wants to break up with him? Like, does he not know that or something? Like, that's strange. Like, obviously she was on TV saying that she didn't know how to break up with him. And he did not hear that. He, he Like, he doesn't know. That's sad. Like, he should be getting the vibes from her. Like, he should literally be getting the vibes. Um, I had seen one, like, clip of uh, of when she, they were having, like, a, a moment, right? It was just them two. And was it when she was, like, accepting the... Anyway, she was crying and she was just saying how... He had, you know, been there for her. And so, well, I don't, I can't remember y'all. I don't know. But anyway, um, how can you not know how to tell somebody that you don't want to, like, she just needs to tell him, honestly, it just, it needs to happen because <laughs> like, that is a big old waste of time, but he should know it though. He should know that she's not really feeling him. Like, a man should know when a woman is not feeling them. <laughs> like, I feel like he should have known when she did not give him a hug, when he gave her all in flowers, and then just the look on her face and how she reacted when he gave them to her. Y'all, I was, oh my God. I was literally embarrassed for him. Like, girl. I would have said something right then and there. I would have been like, uh, you don't like the flowers? <laughs> Is there something wrong with the flowers? Like, she going to hurt him in even more not telling him. But I don't know. I, I feel like he should have felt that already. He should have felt that. Like, have they not been intimate? <laughs> have they not? kissed or nothing like I don't know <laughs> inform me if y'all know because I told you I did not watch the show I didn't even know it was on okay I didn't even know nothing about that show anyway Kathy Yarbrough 9443 
Shout out to you, girl. Deborah Cooper, 4184, says, hey, yummy, hey, girl. Um... Kathy Yarbrough four four nine four four three says, "Yummy! Please don't get rid of your beautiful curls. I'm not. I'm not, girl. I'm not. Trust me. I'm not. I already had, you know, made my mind up that I, that is not what I was gonna do." User SJ two E seven T I two O says, "I'm hearing from different YouTube channels that Kim and Kathy were friends before." Kim crossed over. Before Kim crossed over. Um, I'm trying to remember what we talked about, y'all. Who's Kim and Kathy? Kim and Kathy. Before Kim crossed over. God, I'm so sorry. I do not remember what that was about. I'm so sorry. Um, man. Anyway, Vicky Vale three two eight five says, "LOL, this woman is hilarious." <laughs> okay. Um, Sylvia Moore seven eight zero nine. Shout out to you, girl. Shout out to you, Angelique, Ang Angelica Perales, 6477 says, um, I'm on my third month. I started with um, a Rebolus, Rebolsus peel, and oh, it's a peel, and just started on Ozempic this month. I feel great. Total weight loss, 22 pounds. What? I don't feel hungry. What? I don't crave. And the shot is once a week. Oh, it's once a week. Girl, I thought you had to take a shot like every day. Okay, so thank you for telling us that. Um, and she gets it in her stomach every Sunday. I'm glad I decided to get Ozempic. Love it. Oh my God, congratulations. But isn't it expensive or do you like have insurance that pays for it or something? I mean, if you want to tell me, girl, because I know that's your good business. But I just want to know because I had looked up the prices and stuff and I was like, girl, who's affording this? Like you have to, you know, pay for it every week, right? Or do you like, I mean, if you're paying cash, do you have to pay it every week? Or, like, if you have insurance, I know they pay for it, right? Um, but if you have to pay cash for it, you have to pay for that, like, every time you get it, right? Um, but thank you. Thank you for sharing that with us. And congratulations, girl. I know you're feeling good. And how much more uh, weight do you want to lose? Let me know. And is there a way to, um, to control the amount of weight that you lose? Let me know that, too, because on keto, like, you just really, you can't really control it, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't control it. You just don't, you're on keto, and you're just going to keep losing. Um, As far as I know, as far as I know, April 1979 says, that's your, uh, that's your first time making them in the oven? Wow. Yeah, it's, it was, it's my first time making beef ribs in the oven now i've made the pork ones in the oven like a couple of times um but the beef ones the thing was was that i was never able to find the actual beef uh ribs the, the stores like never had them and thank god um when i ordered the beef ribs from instacart this time um the guy told me that they had one pack left y'all like i wouldn't have even had those if they didn't have that one pack left so, I was lucky to get those. Yeah, that was my first time, honey. And I enjoyed them thoroughly. They were so freaking good. Like, I'm definitely doing it again if I can find them. Definitely. Let me know in the comments, um, do they have, like, because I, I looked at the, uh, like, the Asian stores and stuff, and they didn't have any of, like, the beef ribs with the big bone. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the short ribs. Because I know the Asian stores have the uh, short ribs. But I'm talking about the 
beef ribs with that big bone in them, the big like dinosaur ribs. You know what I'm saying? Those are the ones that I want. Um, let me see. Uh, Tony Nelson seven four four one says Ozempic is the bum. You oh, I think she's meant to say Ozempic is the bomb. You don't eat much. I only weigh 155 pounds though. Uh, I am a diabetic, but when I started, I was 190. Uh, oh, so you're on Ozempic too. What? Oh, but Ozempic is for um for diabetics. So, um, oh, excuse me. My mama told me that her doctor had put her on something. I was like, is it? Because I was asking her, uh, was it Monjero or whatever? But it wasn't Monjero, but it was some type of medicine to where she was losing all this weight. I don't know if y'all remember when my mama had got like real small. Um, but she got off of it um, because I think she, I don't know why she got off of it, honestly. But she gained she gained her weight back because I she didn't want to be on that medicine for some reason. She didn't want to be on it. So but um congratulations on your weight loss. Girl, um, and she also says, I take it. I have lost okay, here we go. I have lost 40 pounds. I eat what I want, candy included. I feel good. That's what I was telling y'all. Like when you're on like those weight loss drugs, you can eat what you want to eat. You're just not going to eat as much. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to eat as much, but you can eat carbs. You can, like, you can eat carbs. You can eat what you want to eat when you're on these type of uh, weight loss drugs. Like lucky for y'all. Okay. Enjoy that. Enjoy it, honey, because keto, <laughs> even though I enjoy it, I do enjoy uh, doing keto because of the results that I've been able to get. But, girl, what I would give sometimes for a piece of corn on the cob, y'all, like, I used to love corn. It was so good to me. Anyway, Kathy Yarbrough 9443 says, schools are teaching the kids how to tell time by the number only. Like if it's 530, they see the numbers, uh, but not taught the way I learned. Oh my goodness. Um, when I realized my... What? When I realized my... Any granddaughter? What is it? 11 and 12 year old granddaughter couldn't read my clock. I couldn't believe it. They don't teach them in school like we did. I'm 64 years old. I can't believe this. Yeah, I couldn't believe it when he was showing them like, I'm like, what? So they're not teaching that any, they're not teaching them that anymore. They're not teaching them how to write in cursive. Like, my God. Girl, like I feel like that's important to be able to know how to tell time. But um, Michael Stewart, one nine eight, shout out to you. You put two hearts. Why are you? I said put one heart. <laughs> but shout out to you anyway. Um, Shirley Rogers, uh, four one nine four, shout out to you, girl. D Brown. D Brown Abel, shout out to you, sis. Let me thumb y'all up, honey, because and heart y'all. Um, Nicole Black 7428, shout out to you, girl. Um, Kathy Yarbrough 9443 says, I don't like Trump. <laughs> it's crazy if they let him run again. Uh, right there are so many. Right there are so many bad cops out there. Can you imagine? Yeah, I know. I already know, honey. And they probably all going to try to uh, vote for Trump. They going to probably all try to vote for him. Like, <sighs> um, Geneva McDaniels 5008 says, Hey, yummy, some people are just insane. You just can't feed into everything you hear. That's what they want you to do. Just keep doing what you are doing and keep up the good work. 
Thank you, girl. Thank you for the encouragement. I appreciate that. I, I understand where you're coming from. I really do. Um, Tamise B. 3245 says, you have been very consistent with your keto journey. You have changed what you were eating and all. You did that. People just need to learn to give credit credit where credit is due. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Like, how long have I been on this weight loss journey, y'all? And how many different things have I tried? Like, I've been through it all. Y'all already know. I have been through it all. And I guess... Y'all are right. Like, I just need to let people think what they want to think. And that's what I plan on doing. I, I'm just going to let people think what they want to think. You can think that I'm taking Ozempic. Okay. If I am, it's working. That's the goal, right? That is the goal. So, yeah, I'm not worried about folks. Um, Doris Jordan 2769 says... That's getting your child or children ready for the real world, period. Another perspective that is so, so true. But don't y'all think that kids need to be like saving their money for when they move out and stuff? And, you know, I understand like making them like pay, they, they, um, pay their phone bill and, you know. <laughs> Stuff like that. Oh no, I'm just I don't know. I won't do it. Um, Tinker Bell eight one five six. Shout out to you, girl. Um, Tamise B three two four five says it may be the ice machine in the kitchen. Oh, the noise. The noise. No, that's not what it was, girl. Cause I know what my ice machine sounds like and girl that was not it and i still don't know what it was i still don't know what it was but it's all good it ain't doing it right now hey girl tt lopez 1986 shout out to you oh shoot um mo to moni 723 says they don't teach Hand time in school no more or cursive writing. That's right. That's right. Um, Nicole, Nicole L 1313. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. I love y'all. T Connor says, uh, hey, yummiest. <laughs> How do I contact you? By the way, I would prefer you eat smothered turkey wings with rice and gravy instead of that egg. And no perms. <laughs> girl, I'm not getting no perm, girl. And she put up the black fist. <laughs> girl, I ain't getting no perm. Mm -mm. No to the ma'am. You said smothered turkey. You know, I've never done that dish. Smothered turkey wings. I see it all the time. It looks so good. I don't know why I don't be thinking that I could pull that off. I don't know why I don't think I could pull it off, but I'll try it. I'll try it. Uh, user IU3JX7VC4J, shout out to you. Y'all, I gotta go. This video is so long. Um, Doris Jordan2769 said, I watch you every day. You did so much before you lost it. Thank you, girl. I did so much. Oh, my God. You did so much before you lost that weight. I'm so proud of you. I wish I was as strong as you. Thank you, girl. And you are. You are. Okay? You just have to dig deep down inside for real and, and just ask yourself, is eating this cake or this pie or all this sugar, is it worth Is it worth it? Is it worth my health? Is this worth it? And that's when you're going to change. I promise you. Like when you, when you tell yourself, oh my God, this is not worth it. It's not worth it. I don't feel good. I know I'll feel better if I lost this weight. You know what I'm saying? And that would just give you the motivation. I'm trying to tell you, you can do it. You can definitely do it. I believe in you, honey. 
because y'all know me. It took me a while because I'll I'll be like, it's so hard. I want this, that, and this, and I want this. And I just had to one day be like, girl, look at you. You look a mess. Cause I did. I don't care. I didn't care what nobody said. You know, cause I was looking at myself in the mirror. I'm like, this is not me. This is not me. I can barely freaking get out of the bed. I'm walking, my ankles are swollen. I had never had any problems with swelling and just all kind of crazy stuff was happening to me, y'all. All kind of stuff, even stuff that I didn't even tell y'all was happening to me. And, and it was all because I was overweight. And it's just weird how all of th these health problems can happen to you just because you're overweight. Like, can't nobody tell me that being overweight is, is healthy or is, um, or I look good with that weight or whatever. Girl, people used to tell me that and really thought that I believed it. I didn't. I never did. I'm sorry. I never did. I never believed it. Maybe they were just trying to make me feel good or whatever, but don't make, don't try to make me feel good telling me that that looked good because it didn't. It didn't. Um, and then some people was telling me that they prefer me that weight. And when I tell y'all, I had to look back and be like, why would somebody prefer me unhealthy? You know what I'm saying? Why would somebody prefer me like that? It just makes you think, you know, it just makes you think. Um... Terry Lynn Penwright, 9209, you put a heart, but you didn't put a red one, girl. But shout out to you anyway. Um, J Smith 61 says, it's been a minute. What's the deal? What's new? Ain't shit going on where my, <laughs> where my N-word murder at. What? Bye, uh, J Smith. Bye. <laughs> Um, yeah, go and visit Murder Show on his channel if you want to see him. You see he ain't here. Um, user SJ2EI7TI20 says, I will not eat anybody's potato salad or chicken and dressing or stuffing as they call it <laughs> because I absolutely hate when you see somebody doing a recipe on YouTube and they mix everything up with their bare hands. I hate that to me, I don't care if your hands are clean. Don't put your hands in the dressing or the potato salad. Who puts their hands in potato salad? You're supposed to start it up with a, a spoon. Who puts their hands in potato salad? Hmm. And mushroom. <laughs> and mushroom. Lord have mercy. That's ushering in my opinion. Well, thank you, girl. Thank you for your opinion. We so appreciate it. I do understand. I do. Um, Adrian McPherson, 4789. Shout out to you. Um, user SJ2E, the same person says, I never throw my mac and cheese away. All that good old cheese. Exactly. All that good cheese. Because it is good cheese and it's expensive cheese, too. Um... All that good old uh, cheese and it don't spoil. I mean, you can have mac and cheese in there for two weeks and it's still good. You're right. Because I've been having mine. And I literally just took that mac and cheese out of this, um, out of this, uh, this, um, what do you call this? Um, container, shoot, a casserole uh, thing. Um, I took it out today and I put it in a bag and it's going to last, Okay. And if I eat something that um, calls for some mac and cheese, you think I'm not going to use that? Yes, because all you got to do is warm it up and it's going to be good as new. Cheese just melting all over the place. Delicious. Okay. Um, yes, girl. I totally agree with you on that. Uh, user IU3JX7VC4J says, yep, cursive, timetables, and a lot more. Yep. Yep, yep. Uh, Crybaby475, shout out to you. All right, y'all, this is the last comment. I'm so sorry. Um, Char Platinum 
says Ozempic is good to take if you have to lose weight before getting surgery. Really? Doctors will prescribe it to you for that. What? Oh, I didn't even know that. You can take the shot in your stomach uh, around your navel, in your thigh, or in your upper arm. Okay. Like any other medic medications, there's always side effects. Yeah, I heard about the side effects. I'm so glad I didn't have to do that, y'all. Because I really, I didn't want to. I really just didn't want to. Like, I, I wanted to, but I didn't, if y'all know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, thank you, God, for keto. Thank you. Like, I kept seeing that lady talking about keto all the time. Kick weight with Keisha. Do y'all know who she is? Let me know in the comments if you know who kick, kick weight uh, with Keisha is. Let me tell y'all something. If somebody is on a weight loss journey, go watch her. She will encourage you every single day. This lady is on the internet <laughs> every day on every platform. I'm like, dang, how can you do it? She be on live, y'all. She be on, she make videos. She be on live. It's like she does it all day, all day. I'm like, dang, how can she have time to put in like that? But, you know, some people can do that. Um, but she would encourage you, honey. I'm telling you, that's who encouraged me a lot. Because I would be seeing her all the time, constantly. I'm like, I need to do this. I need to do this. Um, she was another, another person that motivated me. Uh, shout out to Vern Bang. Shout out to you, bro. Um, okay, it's the last one, y'all. T.T. Lopez, 1986, says fevers aren't only associated with uh, dehydration. You're right. Um, a fever in most cases is due to an infection. Yes, you're right. They, they used to tell us that back in the day. Um, due to an infection. It happens because the body is trying to kill the virus. Or bacteria that cause an infection. Now, dehydration is a symptom of a fever. Because when you feel crappy, especially kids, the first thing they stop doing is eating. Yep. And drinking. Yep. And yes, you're correct. Don't be so quick to take um, fever reducers. It's stopping your body from doing what it's made to do. Unless it gets too high. Unless the fever gets too high. You are so right, girl. Thank you for that information. I sure appreciate that. That is so right. Um, all right, y'all. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go. I know I done kept y'all here too daggone long. But if you did make it, okay? If you made it to the end of the video, leave me a red heart again. We're gonna do it again, okay? No, no, we're not gonna do red heart. Do they have pink hearts? I wonder. Do they have pink hearts? No, we're gonna do red heart. We're gonna do a red heart again, okay? Since my favorite color is red. Yes, your girl got on red again. Let's do a red heart. But yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend, honey. This was D freaking delicious, okay? Follow me on um, Instagram and TikTok, okay? And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't, y'all, don't forget to thumbs up the video. Thumbs up the video. Thumbs up the video. Thumbs up the video. Thumbs up. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. For every day video. Uh -oh. <laughs> Burp. For everyday videos, everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 uh. Hey, 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 uh, uh. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now, you hear? Bye, y'all.